Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen Leanne. If you've never been here, a, uh, I only use cruelty-free products, so welcome. And if you enjoy yourself, please hit that subscribe button. It helps me be able to make a living so I can make more YouTube videos. Anyways, recently I got the NYX Go Bear With Us PR package, and I was inspired to try this today because as you can see, I have some breakouts going on. I have some stress breakouts happening down here. I have a pimple up here that I scratched at and now it's like a scab. I've got a lot going on on my face right now. I would say that this is the worst condition my skin has been in in years. I've been going through a lot of life changes and a lot of stressful things going on. So I'm pretty sure I also got off the acne medication that I was on, um, which is uh, spironolactone. It works wonders. I might be getting back on that, but but the point of this makeup collection by NYX Cosmetics is to not really look like you're wearing makeup, but l still look amazing. So I'm really curious to put this to the test and see if this will work for people with blemishes and textured skin, or if it's something that we need to pass up and or put on concealer to spot correct. So this collection comes with Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil. They look like this. So you can see the shade kind of on the outside of these. And this is $13 and it has 0.91 fluid ounces in it. And this is basically, I would, I wanna say it's almost like a tinted moisturizer. It says it provides fresh faced look, even skin tone, provides seamless coverage, breathable weightless formula, skin looks luminous, does not streak, provides up to eight hour wear. Luminous and provides up to eight hour wear. I'm very intrigued. So that that's that. Then we have the Bear With Me Jelly, uh, Bear With Me Hydrating Jelly Primer. So play it cool with our new water-based gel primer. Water-based is gonna be good for anybody who has more oily skin. It's gonna soak in the skin really easily without kind of adding to your oil production. It says it creates an invisible barrier on your skin for smooth makeup application. And then it says, see ya pores. And I have a little bit of extra pore action going on here as always and here. So we'll see. And this was $17. Did I already say that? I have no idea. And then we have the Bear With Me Prime Set Refresh Multitasking Spray. So it looks like this is a multi-purpose spray. You can use it to prime your skin before you even start your makeup application, or you can use it to, and you can also use it to set your makeup, and then you can use it throughout the day to refresh your makeup throughout that eight hours. Treat your skin to a dewy glow, prime for your tinted skin veil application, then set your makeup with a flawless finish. So I'm assuming you put this on after the primer or you use this instead of we're gonna use both today because we're just gonna be extra and just see how things work this is ten dollars and you get 4.39 fluid ounces and i didn't say this with the jelly primer this feels pretty substantial this is 1.41 lastly we have a cheek cream last time i tried a cheek cream it did not work out well for me um <laughs> so next this is the bear with me hydrating cheek tint it looks like it comes in three different shades. So we've got a berry shade, we've got a more pink shade, and then we've got a pinky orange shade. And then it says, get that post-workout flush minus the sweat with our ultra lightweight formula, which melts into the skin for a diffused glow. Dry blush, we don't know her. <laughs> I like that. And these are $10 each. I'm not gonna swatch these simply because I just put on fake tanner and I'm not risking wiping it off because I'm leaving on a trip in a little bit here and I wanna I glow. glow. So let's just get started with this. I'm gonna start with the Bear With Me Hydrating Jelly Primer. Okay, uh, I don't know how this is supposed to hide my pores. Like it just feels like water, which feels really great, but I don't know how that's gonna cover and fill pores. I'm a little concerned. It feels really good. It has a very faint, like fresh smell. I'm gonna let this soak in my skin for a minute before we move on. My lips are chapped as fuck. I'm gonna put a little bit of the Milk Makeup Lip Glaze oh, before they like shrivel up and there's nothing left. This feels kind of tacky. Uh, it reminds me of the Milk Makeup, um, this right here, the Hydro Primer, which I really like. So we'll see how this performs and how you know, everything goes on top of it, but it does feel a little tacky. It doesn't feel like the silicone kind that like kind of goes into the pores and stuff. So that's interesting. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to, I forgot. 
almost forgot, prime my face with the spray. That smells pleasant. <clears throat> Doesn't taste as good as it smells though. This says up to eight hour hydration. I like that. Who is watching The Bachelorette with Crazy Hannah? I just, I feel like a publicist got a hold of her and like made her into, like, like polished her a bit. Cause when she was on The Bachelor, like it wasn't, it wasn't, um, that wasn't, that it was a different person. <laughs> hmm, these look a little more warm toned, whereas I am neutral. So I think, I think I'm gonna go with this one. So it kind of looks like a little uh, concealer, you know, a bit of a thicker formula. I need to wet my beauty blender. Hold please. I don't know what I think as of right now. Let's keep applying and we'll form a decision. I'm gonna put this on half of my face. I was a little concerned about the redness of my nose, but if you look at the other side, it did conceal it quite a bit. I feel like they should have included like a concealer with this, like one that works well with this, but that can give you a little extra coverage where you need it, you know? But that did, like it did neutralize that, but I definitely, like if I'm gonna put makeup on, I need, I'm gonna need more coverage than that right there. Okay. So it is on half of my face. It's very luminous. Like I don't really understand how that is going to last for eight hours. So I feel like it would just slide off my face. Like, so this definitely does give you some coverage. I, I can see a difference between the two sides of my face. Like I've got, it's, it's evened my skin tone, but I'd say if you have textured skin so far, you're gonna need to go in with some bigger guns and go in with some concealer and stuff um, and maybe even a primer that helps even your skin tone and neutralize red tones even more than go in with this. But if you have really nice skin already and you just have some discoloration, I feel like this could probably work out a little better for you. A lot of this is still very apparent. Um, this is not covered as much as I'd like it to be and neither is some of my discoloration and spots over here. So I'm going to spot conceal a little bit and see how we do after that. Okay, now I'm also going to do this under the eyes and eye area. I'm a little darker in here, so I'm gonna need that. So yeah, I, I wish it would have been cool if they made a concealer to kind of go with this so that you could have a little extra coverage if you needed. And also for the eye area, because even if you're doing a really light coverage around your whole face, you have beautiful, beautiful skin, sometimes people still have darker areas around the eyes that they want to conceal. I feel like a concealer would have been a really nice addition to this collection, personally speaking. Now, before I set my face, we're gonna go in with blush. Okay, personally, none of these blush shades are really speaking to me. I'd never really go for either of these. I wish there was something more in the middle, like more of like an apricot. Um, wow, this is this one. I'm gonna, we're, ooh, we're gonna go with this one, okay. It's almost like jelly-like too. I don't know, do I just, they don't tell you how to apply this. So I'm just gonna, we're just gonna go for it. It's pretty sheer, which is nice. That's pretty nice. That's a lot more natural looking than I thought it was gonna be. As for what the primer has done for my pores, I think that it they do look better. So that's nice and it feels like it's kind of hanging onto the makeup because usually cream blush, like one of my biggest issues with it is that it removes foundation. And obviously it did remove some because 
it's stuck on there if you can see that that's what it actually looks like so it did remove some but i'm not noticing it like missing from my face which is good so the primer seems to be working pretty well today i'm going to use a cream contour so i'm going to see how this mixes with this because i don't know even if i'm doing like a bare skin kind of makeup look i still will contour a little bit so this is the iconic london contour um, i'm just going to take a, a little bit of this and work it in and I'm interested to see how this plays. This seems to be blending into, I don't even know what to call this. It's not, it's skin veil, tinted skin veil. It's like a BB cream or something. It seems to be melting into this pretty nicely and not, you know, disturbing too much of the base, which is good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and powder this because it's a little too luminous for me. I don't really like shine under the eyes and stuff. So I'll do a light little powder. But for me, this is um, this is like a look I would powder for sure. Today I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty Pound Cake Powder, which I've been using kind of a lot lately. I also never like to contour with cream and then leave that un like, du like dusted with powder. I just think it I don't know, it freaks me out. Like it can move around too much. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I like this kind of look. And then, you know, you can always powder it less if you don't wanna add highlight and you kinda just wanna be super natural and bare with this look. You don't necessarily need to add powder everywhere, but I definitely would suggest it in some places, especially if you have more oily skin, you are going to look like so slick in like a little bit if you don't put it on just based on how it looked after we just applied it. I'm gonna go ahead and do my um, eyebrows and my eyes and kind of like the rest of my makeup off camera and then we'll see how this settles into the skin and give our final thoughts on the collection. Oh, but before I do, I'm actually gonna use this as a setting spray real quick. I usually do this like, I'll try and do it before I do my eyes because I'm, I'm not using the setting powder for my eyes. This is mostly for my base. Okay, so with that being said, we'll be right back. All right, so we're back from doing the rest of the makeup here. I'm actually gonna put this um, makeup tutorial up on Instagram in case you are wondering and wanna see what products I use. If I'm not too lazy, I will link it all in the description box below, but I can't make any promises. Um, Okay, so after kind of layering other makeup on top of this, obviously, I don't think this is meant, uh, th this collection was necessarily meant to be worn the way that I'm wearing it right now, um, AKA with lots of makeup on top. I think it's kind of a more minimalistic collection, but I don't really do minimalistic makeup, so I just wanted to see how it would work with, you know, the acne that I have going on and just my skin in general and other makeup products. So I would say that overall, I think that the products are nice. I think that they, you know, do what they say that they're gonna do. I liked the primer, I thought that was great. The setting spray, uh, hard to tell. I guess we'll have to find out later in the day. Overall, how it felt when it got applied and smelled, etc. good. The tinted skin veil, I liked. I think for the price, it's it's a pretty good option for a tinted BB cream. I would say that it performed just as well as high-end BB creams that I've used. I think that it is slightly more luminous than I would prefer, but that's pretty much any BB cream for me. Like I always have to powder kind of the center of my forehead and like right here and under my eyes when I use a BB cream. But if you're just wearing it to like go to the gym or it's, you know, you're camping and it's something you have last minute to throw on, then I, I like it. I think it was good. I think you get a fair amount of product. I like the little, this little thing right here, it makes it easy to, you know, save product and only kind of dispense what you're gonna need. So overall, I think it was pretty good. It definitely wouldn't, it's it's not like gonna replace my daily foundation because I did have to spot cover certain areas, but I think overall it did a pretty good job. And if you have more clear skin, I think it would be better suited for you. You know, if you have uneven skin tone and you're looking for a really light BB cream, this could work for you. Even if you do have blemishes, you are gonna have to spot correct. It's not gonna cover them, but it will neutralize red skin tones, help even skin tone slightly, and give you a pretty light coverage. I don't think this ever says anywhere what kind of coverage it gives. It does definitely give you a fresh face look, and I think that it did look really close to skin when I did the half and half. The only difference was that 
the side where I had put it on, it was more even and less red. So it definitely still looked like skin. So I definitely think it's a good product. It, it does what it says it's gonna do. Um, you need a wear test for this. I really don't think if you didn't powder it, it would last for eight hours. I think it would slide around, but it didn't feel greasy on my face, even though it was super luminous, which is key. So this, this I did like this. I was impressed with the product. I thought I was gonna dislike it a lot more than I did. I really liked the blush. I thought those were nice. I wish they would come in more color. Colors. Like I said, I'd prefer more of an apricot color. This kind of ended up being more of an apricot color and I didn't add any more blush on top. So this is the blush. So I liked that. I thought I liked kind of how it was like jelly and like really translucent because it's very forgiving as opposed to just like cream blush sometimes like you put too much and it's a little intense and you end up looking like Miss Piggy or something. I think that's it for the collection. So overall, I think this is great. So what did you guys think of this collection? Did any of this stand out to you? Do you, have you already purchased the collection? I'm interested to hear from you guys in the comments below about what you think about the collection. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will link this Instagram tutorial in the description box below in case you wanna check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.